let's get into this tea. Now, y'all, I didn't know the club slid onto Blueface's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Let's just react to it together, okay? All right, so hold on. Wait a minute, wait a second, I am lost as of right now. Where am I put myself? Let me go right now. Uh, okay. All right, so we're going to go. Uh, okay, bam. All right, so let's read. This is the nightclub that is suing him. Well, excuse me, that just got rewarded $13 million. The beautiful girls of euphoric Las Vegas would like to thank the entire country for rocking with us in Las Vegas. We put together a dynasty in such short time, but sadly to announce that Euphoric Las Vegas will not reopen. Unfortunately, Mr. Blueface Baby decided to bring gang related activities to our establishment and put all of our girls out of business and ruin the number one urban spot in Las Vegas. Euphoric was a spot for everyone to have fun and everyone super enjoyed it. But as everyone say, it's always the blacks <laughs> that can't, hold on y'all, that can't nothing. I don't know. We knew what we was up against when we opened. We are not upset with the police for not letting us open because they gave us a chance that everyone said they wouldn't. It wasn't a white man that closed us down. It was a black man. Mr. Blueface, baby. <laughs> and we, I guess us open because they gave us a chance, blah, blah, blah. We, where's the we? Wouldn't, it wasn't a white man, it was a black man. It was a, and we have lawyered up and make 100% sure that he either spends the rest of his life in prison or he is going to pay us until the day he leaves this earth. We have given the footage to the police and the guy that was driving the truck was just beaten up by Blueface Baby and his crew for absolutely no reason. The gentleman never said anything to no girl and they call. That's all bull jive. Blueface Baby and his crew jumped on this man over a shirt that he was wearing. The man isn't even a gang member. He drove back up in his truck and said, who jumped me as he said that? Blueface baby pulled out a gun and started shooting. He wasn't trying to run him over at all. So stop saying that it's self-defense. Blueface baby is 100% guilty. We are going to make sure that he's put away in the court. But once again, we appreciate all the support. But it's another black business closed in Las Vegas. All because of our own decided to mess it up. We need y'all to understand that our girls and staff is devastated with the terrible news. It took us 11 months to build that club. It was closed in two months. But hey, once again, it was not the white man's fault. It's our own people that hurt us. Attempted murder is exactly what Mr. Blueface Baby did. Damn, my camera. Child. Now, first of all, This just this just told me that everything that I said that they was doing, they did that. They said everybody sit together. We about to sue this motherfucker for everything. Everything he got. Do you hear me? What we suing him for? Collateral damage. Collateral damage. $3,000. What we suing them for? Uh, uh, Jordan exclusive. Jordan exclusive. That sounds like a lot. $339,000. What we 
What you think we should sue him for? The tires outside. The tires outside, $100,000. What you got? Uh, collateral damage against uh, uh, a felon. Collateral damage against a felon, $399,000. Y'all, them black people got $13 million. Excuse me, they ain't got it yet, but they getting $13 million from off of that man. I know Blueface was like, what? Stripper clothes, $25,000. The toilet handles and the doorknobs, $647,000. Girl, what? Alexa, turn the lights down 20%. I got my own head hurting. Okay, that was just a lot. Alexa, turn the lights up 10%. The lights in the parking lot, 379,000. <laughs> Booty bees, 5K. <laughs> kitchen supplies, even though it ain't no kitchen, 800,000. <laughs> the shit. It's not, but it's funny. Oh my God. Wi Fi. Y'all, we over here wondering why the hell they charged them 30000 for the Wi Fi. <laughs> Stripper cars, 300K. <laughs> Look, y'all. The stripper windshield wipers, 475000 <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. Y'all crack me up, okay? Oh, my God. Ooh, child. <laughs> so, I got somebody, uh, well, a friend that lives in Charlotte, right? I recently went out there, and I seen her. You know one of them friends you see, and you dap up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she said that she might be going to prison, and I said, for why? She said that she was driving through New Jersey and a white man tried to um, drive her off the road or something like that. They probably got into a little squabble and he probably like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, she shot at him. She shot at him. And they trying to give her time. And I'm like, shit. I wouldn't have shot at him. I would have stopped. <laughs> like, if he was beside me, I'm stopping. I'm going to let you keep going. They was on the highway. And if I'm in front of you, I'm going to get out your way. If I can't get out your way and you chasing me down, now that's different. I'm going to have to do that time. But, yeah, it was in Jersey, girl. I said, damn, bro. Like, that's, that's crazy. But, anyway, let's get into Carlissa, y'all. Um... While we on this video. So Carlissa apologized to Blueface, y'all. For those that don't know. Don't know how things went so left when they started to go so right. But if I caused it, I'm sorry. But I would never, ever agree with one of my grandkids to go through what I put Andre through. A child without his father. Self-destruction. May God put everyone in order for the future. I'm sorry. Then she said, all my children, full-term babies, seven pounds or greater, 21 inches or longer. No one was early. My prom was six, seven. Uh, uh, huh? I don't know. A liar looks for sympathy because they refuse to look for a job. No one has gone to jail or prison on my watch. If they ran away and thought they could do better, that was on them. Callie went to jail for fighting her baby daddy. Blue was too blue was grown too. My kids whole my kids who listen, excuse me, are employed, educated and paying their own rent. The ones lying and complaining are just lazy and always have been. Everyone keep up the good work. You was never hungry, never homeless and never abused. 
get a life. So as she apologized to one son, she bring the other one down, Jesus. Somebody help Carlissa. She is an undeveloped Leo. Uh, I didn't go to no prom in 90. I was only 17. I went to the prom in 91 and had to get a babysitter for my one-year-old son. All right. When line goes bad, this got to be with her and uh, Dre. I don't even want to read it. I don't want to read it. Don't want to read it at all. Um, these are lies, Andre. I didn't go to the prom the year I had you. I went to the prom, 91. Why are you lying instead of trying to the truth? You don't need to follow John. Your truth is strong enough, son. How would you, how would you got to prom is 91. You was born in 72. You a liar to the end. First of all, let me tell y'all something about Dre. That nigga can't spell. Not only can he not spell, he cannot put his sentences together. He can't put a sentence together. He cannot put his words together correctly. And he damn sure can't spell them correctly. Now he fine. Now that's a nice looking brother, but damn. When fine just, okay. Anyway. I'm going to read what he said again. How would you got to prom? Is 91, you was born in 72. You a liar to the end. He can't do math at all, can he? Hmm. <sighs> He was born in 72. All right. 10 years would be 82. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Now, when did she say, how old did she say she was when she went to the prom? In 90, I was only 17. I went to the prom in 91. So, therefore, she would have been, we're going to say 17 going on 18 or 18 going on 19. She was 19. Probably 18 going on 19 is what that was. I don't, I don't know what point he thought he was making. But um, when line goes bad, I flunked third grade, son. I had to get a sitter from for prom. In my last year of high school, I'm okay with using me for sympathy, but people who know us know you making shit up. <laughs> okay. Girl, that's it. <clears throat> y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, them black people got that money, or they getting that money out of Blueface. And Lord, Blueface, he's a smart man when it comes to money. I pray he don't play with them. Because they not playing with him. Can I get a hot tub in the comments? Um, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.